listening to KSC podcast this is a short crisp concise exam oriented edited editorial for civil services aspirants in this podcast we are going to talk about india's network of labs to sequence the genome source for the content is the indian express prime minister narendra modi announced on 12th of may 2022 that the indian sars cov2 genomics consortium that is insa cov would be extended to india's neighboring countries India has developed low cost mitigation technologies for testing, treating and data management. We have offered these capabilities to other countries. India's genomic consortium has contributed significantly to the global database on the virus. Prime Minister said at the opening session of the second global COVID COVID virtual summit. He said that I'm happy to share that we will extend this network to countries in our neighborhood. Now let's talk about the network. Insacog was established in December 2020 as a joint initiative of the Union Health Ministry of Health and Department of Biotechnology with the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research and Indian Council of Medical Research to expand the whole genome sequencing of SARS-CoV-2, the coronavirus that causes the COVID-19 disease across India with the aim of understanding how the virus spreads and evolves. Insacog started out with the participation of 10 national research laboratories of the central government and gradually expanded to a network of 38 labs including private labs operating on a hub and spoke model the 10 insacog genome sequencing laboratories handhold the new laboratories and the pan india consortium works to monitor genomic variations in sars cov2 by a sentinel sequencing effort which is facilitated by the national center for disease control that is ncdc involving the central surveillance unit csu under the central government's integrated disease surveillance program that is idsp so how does this help the data from the genome sequencing laboratories is analyzed as per the field data trends to study the linkages if any between the genomic variants and epidemiological trends this the insacog website says helps to understand super spreader events and outbreaks and strengthen public health interventions across the country to help break chains of transmission linking this data with idsp data and the patient symptoms helps to better understand viral infections dynamics and trends of morbidity and mortality the data can be linked with host genomics immunology clinical outcomes and risk factors for a more comprehensive outlook Sequencing assumes added significance as the incidence of reinfections and vaccine breakthroughs increases. Insacog is also working to establish a systematic correlation between genome sequencing and clinical outcomes. The consortium is working towards establishing a hospital network across the country with the aim to study clinical correlations in mild versus severe cases of COVID-19 and to carry out a longitudinal study to understand long-term post-COVID uh, complications and change in immunity. Insacog is also looking to expand to sewage surveillance as an early detection tool and to assess the spread of variants in hotspot localities. That's it for this podcast. Thank you so much for listening. To join KS Trainer courses and to crack the IELTS exam, visit kstrainer.com. You can also get a PDF of this podcast on kstrainer.com. Thanks for listening.